Hello there, this is Sosio2802, we're back with more Legacy of the Void. In the last episode, we destroyed Shakuras. And as you can see, the planet in the background is completely obliterated. Let's see what Vorasun has to say about it. Shakuras is gone. It has become one with the eternal night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter. True Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone as Dark Templar against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. Uh, okay. I don't know if to disagree with her, because, you know, Artanis can choose whatever he wants to be, basically. Let's actually go to the War Council. Rohana. The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us, even unto the destruction of their world. Why? Their homeworld has always been Ire. They have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun. So saith Judicators and the honor. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint, but allowing them life. Treason? Adun chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanis. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. This Rohana person is really making me uh, annoyed. And somebody panel. Uh, we got nothing new. Okay. Let's get the solar core. Let's allocate some solar, right? So we got 25. We can actually go with Temple Field. Um, warp harmonization. Stargates and robotic facilities can transform to utilize warp in technology. Oh, wow, that's great. Warp in cooldowns are 20% faster than original build times. That is pretty cool, man. Mm. But I'll keep what I have right now. Can I actually take out? Yeah, I can. I can take out auxiliary systems if I want to pay one of these. Okay, nice. So orbital strike. Uh, I'm gonna keep on with these. Chrono surge increases structures unit warping and reset speeds by. It. So it's a mega chrono. Warping reinforcements quickly warps it. A pylon with two melee warriors, two raiding warriors, this an invisible location. This is really cool. Much better than deployed pylon. So that is what I'll probably pick up once I have 50 solarite. Or I could just reduce here. Nah. Just keep the auxiliary. Alright. I like it how it is. Let's go to the bridge. An Arudin Shakuras. Hey man. Okay, Celestial so Ray. <clears throat> Shakuras has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. 
<clears throat> is he referring to the purifier laser that obliterated planets in the original StarCraft? Because that would be actually cool. So we get the new unit, Sentry. Very good. Sentry is very useful. Glacious facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire <clears throat> ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. Now Rohana, man, just, just throw her out of the ship. The Taldarim, here, they are attacking the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors. Alright, Protoss and Protoss action. Let's do this. So there's the Taldarim motherships and stuff, so... Uh, oh, we actually got new conversations and stuff. Let's actually go to the War Council. Talk with Rohanna. The Taldarim? They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohanna. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years. But in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Taldarim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. Funny how she says, in a sad voice, Protoss against Protoss, when she is clearly against Dark Templar and wants to destroy them as well. Well, not destroy them, but actually she doesn't sympathize with them. <laughs> anyway, Solar Core. Hacks. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of, a byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Yep, he's a big geek of technology. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. Okay, great Borzoon. Then as we go to the mission, select screen. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Alright. So achievements, don't let the Taldarim displacement beam destroy any of your units in the Forbidden Weapon mission. Destroy six Taldarine gateways or warp gates in the Forbidden Weapon mission. This should be easy to do. This one I do not know because I do not know if that displacement beam... Uh, I, I just don't know how it works so we'll see. And we're going to have sentries that will help us to protect our units with force fields and guardian shields. Very good. Alright. <clears throat> Hierarch, 
the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little what you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! Alright. Is that actually Darth Vader of the Protoss? <laughs> because, see, it does look like it. Okay, here's the displacement beam. This thing is moving. The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. So we have the displacement beam's path on the minimap. Gonna have to be careful with it. And I, re I have to reach the technology vault before the displacement beam. So looks like a fairly easy mission. All I have to do. Oh wait, sentries. Yeah. Can I unlock them somehow? Nope. I have to wait a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to saturate until maximum. I'm detecting a Taldarine force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. So the sentries will... Alright. Oh, they don't have the force field. Alright. But I do have shield recharge. There we go. And there. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. I have returned. Uh, I'm missing a assimilator here. So my idea is to actually just saturate up to the maximum and then move out and destroy everything in my path. Yep. Basic strategy right there. Let's get a forge to get some upgrades. Uh, no, no, oh man, that was a warp gate. Ah, uh, wrong hotkey, man. No problem. Let's just warp in another sentry. And from there on, we're gonna keep warping in troops. Okay, forge. Alright. I'm really fond of Dragoons, they're very powerful. Look at how much health they got. And they got their face disruptor and Dragoon chassis, which is what makes them uh, more bulkier than Stalkers. They are slower though. That is the problem. But I do like slow, powerful units. It's kind of my style. Keep producing probes, saturating up. I have to explore a bit outside of our base, see what's going on. Okay, there's a, a warp prison there with two centurions, or zealots, Targaryen zealots. Take it down. Our forces are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Yeah, sure. Uh, you have not let's go this way. How to get upgrades for weapons. Oh, we've got some minerals here, that's nice. And a door, can we pass? The Taldarine no. have blocked this route with a force field. We will have to find a way around it to destroy its power source. That means we can only go where the laser is going, so that's what we're gonna do. Hierarch, only some of your gateways have transformed into warp gates. It is better to commit to a single warp in strategy. True, thank you, Carax, for that lovely advice. There we go. Ooh, some Tempest here. That's nice. Let's go up the ramp. It appears the station solarite. scientists were Get storing it. raw solarite here as well. If possible, we should obtain it. Excellent. Solarite gathered. There we go. It's going pretty fast. Okay, some more enemy units. Mortal. We've discovered more sentries. I will activate oh, them great. now. 
The more the merrier. I actually like that they have the uh, ability to recharge shields. Uh oh, that's not good. Gonna have to replace that one. Some dragoons. To defend. Alright, so the laser's actually gonna destroy. No, okay. No problem. The door is open now. But I don't care because I'm ahead of the laser. There we go. Any more swallow right? Could be around here. Let's make a pylon. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Did any of them die? I hope not. Really, you think so? Yeah. Definitely. I think our forces are looking for some excitement, Hierarch. <coughs> oh, cough. Anyway, I think I uh, I screwed up the uh, the achievement of not losing any units to the uh, disruptor beam because I just I just rallied my troops and I didn't notice that they ran across the beam. No problem though. It just seems like an easy achievement that I can redo at a later date. Okay, destroying everything. Any more solarite? Because I would really like some solarite now. Glacier defenses. Okay, let's destroy this. Okay. Some more zealots and stuff. I can actually put a pylon down here to warp in more units. They're relatively safe. From the laser. More sentries. Uh oh. Defend, guys, defend. Okay. Get the pickups. Let's destroy this for the extra achievements. Should be other sentries here. Yep. Releasing sentries from stasis. There we go. That's weird, I'm not finding any solarite. I really do want solarite. Engaging Hierarch, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. War prisms, clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go up here. Yeah. Okay, there's some photon cannons there, warp prisms. Uh, let's actually bombard them before. If we actually take down the warp prisms, then they cannot use the photon cannon. So that's two for you and three for you. Let's see what happens. There we go. Perfect. Go in there and destroy. Uh oh. There's more. That's right, our shields. Take down the war prisms, man. There we go. Now, where is the two last solarites, man? I really want those. 
extra 10 points of solarite. Here's one. Another solarite sample obtained. But I fear that I actually lost one of the solarite stuff behind. I really want it. I really do want it. So I'm actually going to go back and search for it. Uh oh. Leave my pylon alone, guys. Right, there's a displacement beam. Let's go and attack this base. I mean, it can't be that hard to take down. Forge. I actually forgot to do some forge upgrades. I do have the plus one attack, but, you know. Just forgot about that. Okay, let's take down this base. Yeah. Massive destruction going on. Give me the solar right, you bastards. I know you have it. Or maybe they don't. But I'm going to make sure and destroy this base. I did get the other achievement, though. Okay, they got nothing here. Let's have to finish off the Nexus. Just because. Maybe maybe it's over here. Hold on. Dudes, ignore that. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's have to get some more zealots and some of some trees of these and that. There we go. Keep moving on. There's the last solarite. I knew you were around here. We have acquired all of the raw solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. Alright, now we have to outmaneuver this. There we go. Keep moving cautiously. Get out of there, guys. Quickly. You have to get to the technology vault. Take down the pylon. That will deactivate the battery defenses and stuff. Shield batteries. Okay, let's see. We're going to take down this pylon here, this pylon here, and another one for you, and another one for you. Boom. Okay, it didn't go down. There we go. Everything has been deactivated. And we reach the technology vault. Great. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. Yeah, we did it. Not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. Okay, Darth Vader. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. Show it to me. Oh, we did get the Danger Turn achievement. Great. Actually, thought I lost the Dragoon there. 
And solar powered 100, which means that I acquired 100 solar rights in the course of the campaign. Don't know. It's always nice to unlock new achievements. Well, I hope you enjoy this episode. I can't wait to keep playing the campaign. Remember to like the video and to subscribe to my channel.